You're very welcome back. Now, fuel prices have soared to their highest level in almost three years, according to figures from insurer AA Ireland. For people hitting the roads for a summer staycation or tourists hiring cars, the spike is bad news for their budget. It certainly is, but what can consumers do to keep on top of soaring prices? And where is the cheapest petrol and diesel in Ireland? To find out, we speak to consumer expert Siobhan McGuire. Good morning, Good Siobhan. Good morning. Hi, we Siobhan. had, a, <coughs> excuse me, an interesting conversation during the break where I said I recently filled yeah. up the car and almost fell over to the point where I thought I'd been pouring the petrol on the ground. It was at 146 or something. It was almost 100 quid to fill yeah. the car. Yeah. What is Pe the story? Fuel prices are at a, a, a their highest in three <coughs> years since Incredible. 2015. It's it's. It's crazy. So at the moment, um, well, according to the figures released by insurers AA Ireland earlier this month, the figures were one euro four six seven six for a litre of petrol, yeah. um, and that was up from one euro forty one cent last month. Mm -hmm. And then for diesel, you were looking at one point three seven eight cents, up from one three one last month. Actually, on my way here, um, I saw that uh, a litre of petrol is costing uh, one euro fifty at a petrol station. Really? So it's just going up and up. It's 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 crazy. It is, isn't it? And they're saying that they're just passing on the cost of them buying the fuel in to begin with. That's what it is, isn't well, it? Well, it, it is and it isn't, yeah. Crude oil has been going up in the last month, so it's gone up from $67 to $77 a barrel. Yes. Uh, what we also have in Ireland is uh, lots of lovely taxes mm -hmm. and duties when it comes to fuel, yeah. um, not least the 20% that was loaded onto um, petrol and diesel during the recession e uh, years, you know, as part of the um, austerity measures. So that now, um, that now means that uh, we are paying uh, not only the increase in the crude oil, but also the, the extra taxes on top. Actually, AA Ireland have a fantastic example to show just how much tax we pay um, when it comes to fuel. So if the average driver is driving 12,000 miles a year, that's 19,500 kilometres, mm -hmm. um, at, 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 um, and, and they are using 150 litres uh, of petrol a month, um, at current prices, they are uh, spending around 211 euros um, on petrol a month and 130 euros of that is tax and duty. Wow. Uh, for the diesel driver, 196 euro a month based on those same stats um, and 111 euro. It's almost two and a half thousand euro a year if you're a petrol car driver and half of that's on tax. Yeah. My, I, the, the driver who, who brought me here this morning, the taxi driver, he was saying that um, with the current charges, it means that he will spend an extra 5,000 this year on, on petrol. On fuel. On fuel. Well, look, the prices are there. I'm not sure we can change them today, but we can talk about how efficient we can be with our fuel, Siobhan. Yeah. Um, one of the tips is just to slow down. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, motoring experts in the UK have actually found out that if you slow down, if you go from, say, um, 120 kilometres per hour down to 112 kilometres per hour, obviously you're on a motorway yeah. and within speed limits, yeah. uh, you save 25% um, on, on fuel consumption in the car. For a difference of eight kilometres per hour. Absolutely, yeah. And, e and even slowing down from 90 kilometres per hour down to 80 is a 10% saving on fuel consumption. Driving diligently. Yeah, and that just means, you know, being a, a cautious driver, not braking yeah. and accelerating too off much. Take the, the pedal. Exactly. It's yeah. the quickest way to burn fuel, actually, isn't it? In, breaking, in that yeah. stop-start traffic yeah. mode on yeah. the M50 or wherever. And it, exactly, it's not. It, it, you know, you have to keep braking when you're in Dublin traffic, of course. in particular. It's you just know, the it's nature just, of city yeah. traffic. In fairness, isn't yeah. in fairness to the car manufacturers and, and, and the technology that they're developing all the time, like diesel engines are getting better. They will be gone, of course, mm -hmm. not in not not too distant mm. future. But features like the stop-start thing. Uh, a lot of new cars have it now that when you pull up in traffic and stop, the car shuts off. Yeah. They're huge helps because, the, and it actually tells you in some cars how much fuel you're saving by yeah. doing this. You just activate that on the car so when you, you start stop mode, so when you pull up at a red light, the car switches off. Yeah. You're not wasting fuel sitting there at the traffic light. Yeah, was there a suggestion with some of the car brands that that didn't, wasn't as effective as it should be? Well, they say that some, some of them... it's the, Starting the, it back up uses m more fuel than actually turning it off in the first place. Yeah, I, th I think they've kind of worked out, though, that there is a, a, a certain amount of saving yeah, involved. So, um, okay. so overall, you so are saving. So that technology is, is a step forward. Yeah. Uh, lighten the load. Lighten the load. Yeah, a, 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 a jam-packed boot will... Um, cause the car to use more fuel when yeah. it's uh, uh, moving. So just 
take take anything you don't need out of the car yeah. and and put it somewhere else. Um, tire pressures. This is an interesting yeah. one. Yeah. Well, tire pressure. The right tire pressure, which ever, you know, we're all supposed to know and do, and very few of us. And in terms um, of safety as well, it's huge. Oh, important. I know. I know. Absolutely. Yeah. But that that can save you two percent on fuel consumption with when you have the right. Thread. And people aren't aware that the tyre pressures, you think, well, how do I know what they are? It's normally on the inside of the door. That's exactly where it is. So when you get out of the yeah. car, have a look. Yeah. So you don't necessarily need to go through the manual. In no, the no, no, there's a little, oh, there. there's a little sticker on the inside door, yeah. Yeah. Go electric. Go electric. Well, the government had great plans for most Incentives. of us to kind of yeah. switch over. But there has been like loads of little hiccups over in terms of power supply around the country. Um, 5,400 electric vehicles are on the road in Ireland. It's far less than was predicted. Um, the reasons are, while it's quite cheap to run, an electric car is very expensive to buy. So you're, you're talking anything from around 30 grand up to buy the car. But again, mm -hmm. are the manufacturers helping, helping us with that? Are they... It, you know, is that cost going to come down over the next well, couple I of years? Well, I think there there are government incentives in place to really you know, work on that and try and promote um, electric cars and get more dealerships to encourage people to switch over mm. to them. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have to see. Uh, Pumps.ie you have here, Siobhan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this website. So this is <laughs> this is just um, a website, you know, that's that's manned by the public. So, yes. yeah. uh, for example, I'll be I'll be putting in that that uh, petrol I saw this morning, yes. 150 yeah. um, on the Stalorgan Road, um, which made me balk this morning. So yeah. uh, Pumps.ie is where people around the country see cheap prices of petrol and diesel. And share it and with the share public. It. So the cheapest uh, at the top of the list at the moment is Amber, Upper Strand and Yall in Cork. That's it. 141. Yeah. 141. Actually, I, I checked it just before I came on and there was um, a petrol station, uh, Apple Green on Inchicore, in Inchicore and that was one. Four one as well. Okay, in Dublin. is that the top yeah. one in Dublin? And, yeah, and that makes a huge. I, I know where I, I live out in North County Dublin, and there are, there's a stretch of road about a half a mile long. There's three petrol stations, and it can vary from to from five cents of a difference. Yeah, yeah, per liter. Incredible, yeah. Isn't per it? liter. Yeah. I did a fuel just to tell you a little uh, a gas thing. Oh, oh yeah, I did that. I tell you what, <laughs> you see? Um, a fuel efficiency test with Sayat and Alan Quinlan, you know, uh, rugby pundit. That's right, yeah. Irish international. He was against me and we had to do this fuel efficiency test yeah. in our cars. And he put his golf clubs from his boot into my boot. Added weight. Trick. And you Added lost. Added weight. Did you yeah. lose? I mean, he thought it was hilarious. It was funny. <laughs> Uh, yes, I did lose. Yes, lighten I did. the load. I Siobhan did. just told you lighten, lighten the load. I'm not sure I was taking it as, as seriously as he was, to be honest. But anyway, Siobhan, there you thank go. thank you for those tips. Thank Thanks you. Great tips, in. Siobhan. Thanks. Thank you.